dollar index is plunging right now if you remember this video when i talk about my bearish view on dollar index you know that i was waiting for bearish wash and means and um well finally two days ago we had that signal and in this video my only objective is to highlight one trade you want to take note of one trade you want to take note of if dollar index is to continue to plunge just as a sidetrack um, as if you are trading into stocks indexes commodities or forex right it's very important to take note of dollar index because dollar index shows the strength of the us dollar and why is it important that we want to know the strength of us dollar because we want to know whether fed is really going to keep to their stand to rate do a rate hike or that the market is winning right now the market is actually thinking that fed is going to cut rate very soon these are the levels of dollar index. Initially, here at this level here, I was thinking a dollar index should be dropping. Um, so I did the video and then I've drawn in this uh, wash line here. So this was the wash line that I've drawn in, but you realize that it doesn't really close below that wash line. So there was no trigger and dollar index continued to pump up. But then when it when it's right now at this high here, uh, I mean, uh, there was another wash and means, right? Let me just do that for you. So this is the wash line that was shown here and then this bar this uh, price being um, higher is the washed and then these would be the rinse bar here right but we, we do have like a an earlier warning okay so there was earlier warning um, so i told my students that probably we just wait a little while uh, for price to close below slightly lower and uh, that's where we initiate the shot was looking at the long for one instrument and that's go okay so the focus for me at that point of time was on go right Be before this right let's um take a look at the dollar index in terms of the a bit of a longer term view uh, if you have a look right in the dollar index huh, especially on the weekly chart uh, it's range bound to me that means it's probably at the high it moved to the high and then it's probably going to come to the low point here so i'm suspecting that we are probably just trading the range long term wise yes i have to agree that probably the dollar index is still on an upward movement but it's starting to show a little bit of a of a weakness here okay partly because you realize this was a previous high right and then priced um a broke out of that previous high and it's actually been hovering around this uh, previous high point here trying to stay above but yet you know spend some time below it and i think that it's probably just gonna hover here eventually to have a either a month close still below it okay why is that so uh, because i want to bring your attention to this uh, month uh, like a wash and means right so there was a price that closed above the previous high so i'm able to draw in a wash line here you realize that as price whatever price uh, was doing in this cluster here uh, it eventually stayed below the wash line so if i've drawn the wash line again so this is the wash line right is is like whatever it's doing on a month to month basis it's still below the wash line and this bearishness still hold okay so this is the reason why i am a little bit more bearish into the dollar although i admit that it's going to be in a consolidation movement and i think that fed is really pushing um, their speech as far as they can but i don't think that they are going to do the rate hike anymore or even if they do it will be seen by the market as just the last effort okay before a cut right with this let's take a look into go here is the chart on go go as i said in one of the earlier video that i did I mean to me go is very clear cut it's in an uptrend so we have a structure high so this is your higher high versus the previous high and here would be a low and at this point would be a higher low i just wanted to zoom in zoom in on why there was a you know a bullish uh, move for us because at this point here so this was a previous low in go Right. And it's very obvious that, you know, I think the market was going to push price down by forcing that fake breakout. And I was expecting the fake breakout to happen. That means for to wash and means its own low. 
Okay, and if I move that into the day, so it was very easy for us to get a uh, buy signal here. So because if I were to just draw in the wash line, so for example, so there's one wash line here. So this um, would be a bar that closed below the previous low, and therefore this one would be the wash line. If you'd like to know how I use the wash and means, then there are two ways to watch my previous video on wash and means or join my uh, the alien wash course because at this moment the alien wash course has a hundred percent cash back that means you get back your full cost fee and and if you if you take the course you'll be able to know how to use wash and means to enter long into go here right so we had a long signal in go here because at this place it wash and means its own previous low as well as wash and means its own wash line so price continue to move up and right now uh, i'm still in the trade and um, maybe you ask me where would be my target okay for this move minimum minimum i'm looking at 1980 okay so that would be my minimum target for this move here if you like faster update remember to just scan this qr code then you can join the telegram channel so that's where i post a lot of my updates especially also into my bullishness on um, gold if you'd like me to discuss any other videos like for example other forex pads on uh, gold or oil so these are the instruments that i'm trading actively do let me know and i cover them whenever i have time to make a video and remember remember smash that subscribe and the like button